I only need one of these. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. Now I'll meet you in the nether. You know, actually, I keep forgetting that I have these, so I might as well take you with me. No running to the nether portal at all. So, out there, we got a big old giant lake of lava. And uh, one of the reasons I was avoiding this is because the flowing of lava can create lag. It's just a lot of dynamics for the game, and this is going to be a huge swirly pit of flowy lava after a while. Um, but so be it. Oh, one of these guys. Ah, where's my sword? Okay, so we need some place to start. Um, that's actually looking pretty promising right there. Let's see what happens out here. Um, yeah, good uh, platformy thing to start on. Oh yeah, that looks excellent right there actually. Yeah, let me get over here um, and get things going. You know, the uh, we're going to have some problems with gas probably trying to blow us up. So one of the first things I want to do is just kind of secure the area here. So let's, uh, let's just build up a little bit. I'm just going to build a simple little fort here. Uh, to gas proof us in. Uh, when I'm done with this, I'll show you the interesting part. Hopefully not getting too carried away here, but uh, no reason not to make it uh, somewhat fancy and uh, put all this uh, hardened glass to maximum benefit. <laughs> so, they'll have a hard time getting us now. Let's see. There we go. And uh, I need this thing a little bit more. I'm going to put a door in here somewhere uh, just to keep the, uh, the bats out. Aha, there it is right there. Hello. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> you can't see me. You can't get me. I needed a little bit more hardened glass, so we get to do this now. Let's start it. Uh, might as well knock all these out. Uh, let's just do this right now because it's on a separate system, or at least it was. It doesn't have to be now. Um, but uh, these are pretty simple. Uh, just put one. Oops, I guess I have to do a shift right click. Ooh, look at that. Did I get it on the first one? Let's see. Can't see back there. Yes, I did. Okay, and then uh, hopefully they, let me see if they start with the right configuration. No, they don't. So you see how there's a little arrow there? That's pointing in, and we want it pointing out like that. And uh, yeah, let's take that one off. Shift, right click, out, and then we'll do it again. Out, and I'll just do that all the way down. And then we're going to have ones in the back. And then those are facing the right way. They're pointing in. So those are cool. Oh, we're good with those. Uh, those ones need to be changed. And they can only, one length of pipe can only be either be output or input. You can't have different pointing directions on both sides. So, uh, yeah. Okay, so that should be that besides those. And let's see if we turn the power on. If we, whoa, <laughs> that really brightened things up. Are those glowing? What happened there? That's nuts. Um, but uh, let's see. And now that's working again. So, okay, we have power connection. And these should never blow up. And this little circular thing they're doing there is not a problem. Okay, well hopefully this will do the job. We have a blast-proof little room. I don't think it needs to be too big. And then a little platform out here. Just uh, put some stone bricks on it so that they can't blast this nether rack out from under you. Uh, there's more that can be done here, but uh, just making a basic little pumping station over this lava lake. Um, and uh, then let's try to figure out how this goes. So 
We're gonna need uh, these take. I looked up these take a minimum of one MJ and a maximum of ten. Um, so I want to go for the maximum. Um, I usually have uh, powered these with redstone engines, like four of them, which is four. I want to give it ten right now, so we're gonna give it three magmatic engines, which is gonna be two MJ too much. Uh, but hopefully that's gonna be all right. Um, and let me see, we're going to give this energy to the pump. Um, hopefully that's going to work. Uh, let's see, we're going to turn these around. Like Azo. Haven't set this up before, so I'm just kind of winging it on the fly here. Uh, um, actually, I think already I want to save some space, so... Let's redo that. I think you have to shift right click these to take them off. Yeah, and then uh, let's see, let's put them up here. Can we do that? Yeah, and then turn these around again. And uh, we shouldn't need to give these uh, much of anything. Uh, I mean, as far as a red redstone signal. Um, and they're going to need some lava. So let's give them that too. Let's see, the thing, uh, let's send the pump down here. Um, so maybe we'll be able to do that. So, uh, let's see, let's knock a hole right here where the pump will probably end up going. Oops, okay. Uh, yeah, that's going to be good. Um, just for security's sake. Let's put that there. I think the rest will be all that. All of that will be all right. Unlikely, I guess, will be shooting up. But just because I said that, uh, let's go ahead and do that, and just fill that in. I don't know why. Um, okay. So let's say the pump is going to go right here, and since normally we'll be coming in for right here, let's just let the front part look at us that way, if there is such a thing. Um, okay, chances are, uh, I'm going to bust a hole here again, chances are that's sending a thing down right now. Is it? It is. Excellent. That's what we want. Okay, uh, let's close that back up. Now, let me see, what I'm imagining is uh, this is going to pump out lava. Let's say it's going to pump it out there. Um, and see how the in and the out of these works. Okay, that's in, that's out. Oh, that can only be... Okay, so that's not going to work. Um, <laughs> this could have been one higher, and that would take care of it. Um, or one over. Let me see. Let's pick this up. Yay, that worked out okay. <laughs> okay, go like that. And let's put it up here. Where'd you go? Uh, send your little guy down. Excellent. Well, that's nice. We'll get to see that a little bit better. Okay, so that comes out. So that's going to send lava out to these guys. And we want lava to go to our tesseract which can go probably right here. So hopefully these will get what they need and the rest will go through to here. Um, once some power comes over, I'm going to need to start these with lava buckets, which I actually didn't bring yet, but that's not a big deal. It's easy to get back and forth. Oh, check it out. Okay, so the extra dimensional lava is saved. So let's put that in there. Check. Okay, uh, apparently that's all we had to do. Um, that is hopefully hooked up. Let me uh, get the uh, lava 
and we'll see if we can start this thing up. Okay, we're back. That's still sending that down, um, but I think we can still safely go ahead and fill these up. I don't want to spill lava everywhere, so uh, let me be careful here. Oh yeah, and this doesn't work now. I don't know why not. Um, so we have to risk spilling it. <laughs> Uh, as long as we got that little hitbox there, hopefully that's good. Excellent. No spilled lava yet. And you. Okay, so uh, those are sending power the wrong way right now. So they're about to turn themselves off. Turn it around and send it out. And then let's hook it up to the pump and see if that works. One more, hopefully, and we're pumping lava. Theoretically, this pump is getting 12 Minecraft jewels now. I don't know if it's all the way down. Uh, maybe not. And that's facing the right direction. So is that. Okay, it's the moment of truth. Um, but theoretically, this is a self-powering setup that can be as simple as this. Oh, and you know what? I'm probably going to need to put a one block chunk loader here. Um, so I'll have to come back with that so that this little area always stays loaded. Or a one chunk chunk loader. Okay, well, I'm going to keep an eye on this, and if it starts to flow, I'll let you know. Hmm, nothing yet. So, I'm guessing this pump doesn't work uh, with the thermal expansion stuff. Either it doesn't work with Liquiducts, or it doesn't work with this. Oh, you know what? Liquiducts do need a redstone signal to work, don't they? Um... Yeah, we can give it a lever um, or a redstone torch, whichever works best. I wonder if that's the holdup. Let's see. Although th these don't normally need that to output, but maybe these are different. Uh, where can I put a signal? Um, let me see. We'll neaten it up in a minute, but uh, just to get it going, let's just do that and that maybe whoa <laughs> and everything brightens up again I guess these emit light or is it the lava from the liquid ducts oh yeah oh and that's filled up and that now is that working that's the question Okay, well, I guess nothing to do but go to the other side and check it out. Now, this may become unloaded immediately and then stop working. Um, I'm going to make a chunk loader over on that side, and we'll come back and see. Now, if we're lucky, there's going to be a big old stream of lava flowing down the middle there. Now we, you know, I said I had a question whether it could interface um, directly with that valve. Uh, so before we put a pipe in there, which is no big deal, um, let's go ahead and put the chunk loader on the other side and see if that has anything to do with that. Uh, we're going to need a book, which uh, I thought I had an extra of. Here's a book. Um, and, uh, of course, two diamonds and, uh, some obsidian, one, two, three, four, um, and we're going to need an ender pearl, and <laughs> I'm out of room again. I'm going to get rid of some stuff. All right, here it is, the chunk loader. So, pretty simple. 
Uh, first, we just have to build your basic enchanting table, enchantment table, um, with uh, the diamonds and the book. Got that, and that goes down there, and then just some gold ingots and these ender pearls that we seem to need for everything. So we got our chunk loader. Um, let's go ahead and see that one and see if that's the problem first. Let's just eliminate that as a possibility. Ooh, <laughs> hello, Gasty. So this can go anywhere around here. Uh, let's just put it, uh, ba -da -ba -da -ba. let's see if how that works right there. Uh, if we want it just to have a one and to show the lasers, let's uh, see if we've got this covered. We do. We do. Yeah, that's the center right there. Uh, so that's perfect. Um, this is going to stay loaded. So we've eliminated that as a possibility. Uh, let's go back and see if we have lava. We do! That was it. Oh yeah. So that pump should be fully powered. Oh, look at that. That was major. And we have uh, the only restrictive pipe is the liquid duct on the other side. Oh, that's looking very good. Okay, we're back in action. And uh, that's so much faster than the lava quadrupler was. So, shazam! We've got that accomplished. Um, lava is coming in, and I, hopefully that one should be fine uh, to keep this full. And when it gets totally full, hopefully it'll be fine just stopping itself. Uh, I don't know what's going to happen on the other end, but uh, yeah, that's significant. Glub, 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 glub. <laughs> so we're going to slowly drain that lava leak over there. So now what I'm going to do, and I'm going to do it mostly off camera because um, I'm tired and clumsy and I don't want to bore you guys. I'm going to take all these pipes off. I'm going to uh, eliminate some of these lava quadruplers here. Um, I am going to leave these setups here because um, each of these could be power to a energy tesseract that sends energy to different projects or quarries elsewhere. So I'll leave those, but I'm going to pipe them up. I'm going to take out uh, these uh, gold waterproof pipes and redstone engines that feed them, and I'm going to do it all with the liquid ducts. Um, and I'm going to redo the uh, that pipe there, and these pipes that go to the uh, to the uh, the geothermal generators, which will also help them getting plenty of lava when they're going full demand. I'll probably be able to eliminate that third pipe that comes from behind to feed this side. Hopefully two of them will be enough to get all the way to the end. Um, and I'm going to finish putting uh, redstone conduit on everything, on these guys and everywhere we've got the conductive buildcraft pipes. So that's my homework right now. Um, meantime, the tank is filling with lovely lava. We like it. <laughs> and any more L's we can get in there? <laughs> So out here, you can already see where the lava is being taken from. Uh, there's this huge pattern uh, going all the way around there and all the way around there um, where the lava is being pulled from. So yeah, that's going to be a lot of lag. Hopefully not too much. Um, but uh, that's a lot of flowy lava dynamics. But uh, it's got to be. Um, I don't know if it's going to be able to pull lava out from beyond there, um, but that's the beginning of the bowl it's carving out. Where are you? Uh, <laughs> anyway, um, just wanted to show you the beginning of that pattern there, and it's pulling it out really fast. Um, but that's a lot of lava. And uh, with this, uh, this uh, tesseract, uh, we can move it to any lava lake in the nether, and it's not a problem. Another little side note too is if you look at my block lighting right there, you see that these actually are giving off light. If I stand on here, it's 13, which means that's 14. So these are the same as a torch. 
you can see it goes down as I go across. So it's not just an optical lighting. They are actually lighting up the place, uh, which is cool. <laughs> and then this is how it worked out. Just wanted to show you the last bit. Got it all cleaned up. Got all that gold waterproof pipe out of there. Uh, I think it looks great. <laughs> this stuff is like, it's really cool looking. I would use this in a room just to light the place up. I've already got a bunch of ideas of how to make circles in the ceiling or in the floor and uh, use it as fancy lighting. <laughs> but it's so much better. Uh, right now, I've got the um, the scrap all cycling to the mass fabricators, which are going full tilt, which means all 26 of these geothermal generators are running uh, full bore. Um, it's it's piped up uh, real neat. Just got two lines coming out of here. No redstone engines at all, um, which I must help with lag a bit. Um, and they are just so much more reliable. They just filled up right away. And even at the end here, uh, without that third line that I used to have to pump in from behind to keep these end bits going, because the the lava could only make it about that far in the gold waterproof pipes. These are completely full. Uh, there's just no lack of lava, so it's just supplying them really well. Um, that's great. We could add even more to this if we wanted. Um, and then uh, the lava tank is being filled just superbly by the Tesseract. Uh, it doesn't go down at all with this huge draw on it. It's still um, com staying completely full. So this is just going to be effortless. Uh, until sometime in the very distant future when that lava lake uh, runs out and I'd have to move it over <laughs> just a little bit. As long as that doesn't become a big lag monster in the nether, uh, which I hope it won't. Otherwise it should be fine. Um, back here, I took all those little uh, magma crucible stations and I turned them into uh, portable power stations. Each one of these can get a little energy tesseract that goes down here. Um, and you know, I took out the chests and the magma crucibles and the uh, waterproof pipe that uh, was coming out of them to feed this, so it's a lot cleaner. Yeah, so we've got four stations now that can be portable power for projects out in the field, whether we're doing a quarry or a filler or we've got an auxiliary base and we don't want to set up a separate power system for it. Um, each one of these can get a little tesseract and send power over there. And then our little thermal expansion wall is looking pretty slick too. It's all symmetrical and fancy looking. It's all in conduit and liquiduct. Um, and uh, each one of these uh, rows of magmatic engines can get turned on separately. And right now we've got, uh, in the middle, we've just got the, uh, the induction smelter and the two pulverizers for whatever we need. And then on each end we've got the magma crucible liquid transposer set up, one for redstone, one for ender pearls, so we can do tesseracts and uh, redstone energy cells and energy conduits on each end. Uh, not that I think we'll need a whole lot more redstone energy conduits. Uh, we're doing pretty good right now, but hey, who knows? And uh, we're doing pretty good on redstone energy cells as well. And then each one of these spots could be swapped out for more thermal expansion machines. I think I need a couple just powered furnaces or whatever they call the furnaces in thermal expansion. But anyway, um, yeah, thermal expansion is doing us well. This is a great upgrade. I'm really loving it. Uh, so hope you guys join us for the next episodes. We've got lots of stuff planned. Um, I've got to upgrade the power to the quarry and run it twice as fast. And I want to get a number of things started so that I can be doing them in my own time too. I want to uh, just take, get you, have you there for just the very beginning of Thomcraft and the beginning of setting bees up um, and the beginning of um, what was the other one? Uh, oh, Mistcraft, yeah, just uh, run, setting up a whole bunch of ages so that uh, we can collect all the symbols and make a notebook and start using Mistcraft ages as well. So that's all coming up, um, but tomorrow I've promised Nilo Rio that we're going to jump into the Twilight Forest, and we'll have you guys there for the beginning of that, and definitely bring you back for each of the boss fights if they don't all happen tomorrow, which is unlikely. Um, but yeah, so having a great time. Hope you're having a great time watching us. Uh, really appreciate everyone who joins us. And we'll see you then with all that stuff and more and more and more. Bye-bye.
Thank you.